The skill of Kyunggong Solbulb, flying sidekick. One of the many personal achievements of Grandmaster Iron Kim is the Kyunggong Solbulb, flying sidekick. Pictured here is Grandmaster jumping from the top of a building. A corner of the roof is visible in the lower right corner of the picture. In 1970, Grandmaster Iron Kim demonstrated Kyunggong Solbulb by jumping from the equivalent of an 11 story building. In 1972, Grandmaster Iron Kim demonstrated the Kyunggong Soul Boat by jumping from the equivalent of an 8-story building, landing without injury, onto a slope surface below. Performing the Kyunggong Soul Boat movement is a phenomenal feat, but more important is the tremendous internal and external strength that an individual must possess in order to successfully perform Kyunggong Soul Boat at this level. Our research has shown that only a small number of people have attained a similar level of achievement. Grandmaster Iron Kim has maintained a miraculous mental and physical strength needed to execute this movement. Still today, we have no doubt that Grandmaster Iron Kim is capable to precisely demonstrate the Kyunggong Sobo. He is a living example of the benefits of achieving phenomenal Mudo strength. In martial arts, not all movements are the same. Kyunggong Soul Boat, flying sidekick, is different than a jump sidekick. Looking closely, one can see clearly the strength in the hands, the feet, the neck, and the entire body in the photograph. It is this same strength, both mentally and externally, that once achieved, maintains one's mental and physical health and well-being. It is this same strength once achieved, that benefits one's daily life, family, and friends. Someone's level of internal strength can be difficult to measure, but looking at these photographs, one can visibly see in the face, hands, and feet the great mental and physical strength needed to reach this movement. When Grandmaster Iron Kim gave permission for his name and photographs to be used in school, he had said that the photographs are visible, but knowledge is invisible. These photographs are not decorations. As long as instructors and students understand the benefits of improving themselves through practice, the photograph should stay in the schools. Hu Myung Do members should remember, losing the meaning of Mu Do is losing the meaning of improving themselves. Because Mu Do movement directly involves improving one's mind and body and building tremendous internal strength, external strength, and willpower, Losing Mudo movement is no different than losing a part of your mental or physical strength. Grandmaster Iron Kim said that these photos are not for my benefit. These photographs are for your benefit to develop yourself. Through correct movement, you can improve your mental and physical strength. Once people have reached mental and physical improvement, no one can take that away from them. Grandmaster has taught some instructors with the position of national instructors and higher the beginning levels of Kyunggong Sobo. They are now able to jump and land from a two or three story building without injury.